Alright guys, Ivan here and uh, I've been just thinking why is Phil hit so freaking huge? Considering the fact that he said that he's gonna skip 2019, he is looking suspiciously big, he is humongous. There is a lot of speculation whether Phil Heath is gonna compete or not, most people actually think that he will, that's what I noticed. But hey, he did not announce it, he did not say it officially that he's gonna do it, so we cannot be sure right now. He is huge. He is really, really big. I don't think I've ever seen him bigger than this in the offseason. And there must be a reason for it. I don't think this is just by accident. You cannot get this big and stay this big just by enjoying life and having fun. He must be pushing the envelope very hard. Because, seriously, I don't think we've ever seen him this big in the offseason, ever. We all pretty much know that the reason why he lost the Mr. Olympia is because he had that stomach issue. Sure, Sean had great conditioning, but if Phil just had normal stomach, he would win, because his conditioning was almost the same, it was in that ballpark, but he had much more muscle. Much fuller, much denser, more 3D type of look, and everything. Phil is just a better bodybuilder than Sean when he is on, but in 2018, of course, he wasn't on, so that's why he lost. But in his mind... Based on all the interviews that I watched and based on everything I heard, he thinks that that's not the reason why he lost. He just thinks he wasn't good enough. He thinks that he needs to improve. Whether that being only conditioning or simply coming bigger, whatever that is, I think he thinks that the stomach is not the reason why he lost. So maybe right now he wants to improve the overall package. He wants to become just a better bodybuilder. Firstly, by adding mass and then by getting conditioned and remaining the fullness and everything. He just wants to improve as a bodybuilder. That's my opinion. That's what I think he's doing. But is he going to compete this year or is he going to keep doing this kind of bulk until next year and then do the diet? I'm not sure, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think two years of pushing the envelope that much and being this huge is too much for him at his age and with his experience. I don't think he is planning to do that. In no likeliness we're gonna see Phil hit at this year's Mr. Olympia. And if all goes well for him, if he somehow manages to control his stomach a little bit better and just comes in condition and fuller, I think he can win the show. And also if he just comes bigger, fuller and more conditioned with the same stomach, again I think he would win it. I do not think that the judging criteria is changed. That's what everybody was talking about in 2008, when Daxter won against Jay. Everybody was saying that the judges are looking for more streamlined, smaller, more aesthetic physiques with smaller waist, which did not happen, of course. Next year, the very next year, Jay won it back. And I think the same thing will happen this year. History repeats itself, right? So in 2008, 10 years before last year, Daxter won, they thrown the champion, and then the champion came back. So 10 years after, I think the same thing is going to happen, if Phil decides to compete. And that will probably depend on a couple of factors. Firstly, on how he looks. So if he's happy with his looks, he will do it. Um, I don't think he will announce it until the very last moment, because he's qualified for life. He won the Mr. Olympia not only once, but seven times. So if you win it once, you're qualified for life. And I believe if he thinks he looks good, he will show up. And in all likeliness, he will win. Because last year he was too relaxed, he thought he's unbeatable. I don't think it ever occurred to him that Sean may take his title away. I think he was very confident and he thought that he's gonna win the show, but he didn't. And now that he lost it, now he has the fire back and he seems more confident now. And he seems more driven based on all I've seen from him. So I think that if he decides to compete, he will win the show again. I mean, look at this. Look at him here in this interview. Look at how huge he is. Have you ever seen him this big in the offseason? Phil Heath is not known for being a huge bodybuilder in the offseason. He is known for having the 3D muscle that makes him look big. But look at him now. He's huge. He's really big. I think he's never been this big ever before. I think this is his biggest. By far. And I don't think he will push the envelope that hard for another year. I think he'll compete this year. And whatever you guys think, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you want to see more content like this. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.